how to install Ansible in Alma Linux version 9. Today we are going to talk about the easier way to install and maintain up-to-date Ansible inside Alma Linux 9 using the Upstream system repository. I'm Luca Burton and welcome to today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Today we are talking about how to install Ansible in Alma Linux 9. This is a replacement for CentOS that is getting more and more traction. The easier way to install and maintain up-to-date Ansible inside Alma Linux 9 is using the Ansible-Core package included in the upstream distribution repository. Please notice that the package Ansible isn't available anymore in the system distribution repository. It's not necessary to use uh, the additional EPL package repository. Demo time. Let's jump into a quick live demo about how to install the latest version of Ansible in Alma Linux. I'm going to install the Ansible-Core package in an Alma Linux using the upstream distribution repository. Welcome to my terminal. First of all, let me connect to a freshly installed Alma Linux using SSH DevOps is my username at almalinux.example.com. This is a freshly installed machine, so I need to accept the SSH fingerprint. So now let me switch to a root user to perform any operation with packages. Uh, let me uh, print it out the exact release with slash etc slash red hat dash release. This is uh, Alma Linux release 9.0 Emerald Puma called name. And uh, we can find out the same information with uh, ATC OS release and uh, hostname control. Another useful information could be the current release of a kernel. We are running of uh, 5.14 and this is still uh, Enterprise Linux 9. Okay, now let's have a fun with DNF the package manager. Let's search for the Ansible options and we can see that we have only Ansible dash core package. So first of all, let me uh, find out some in extra information about the Ansible. Yes, Ansible package doesn't exist. So let's find out Ansible-Core version 2.12 is available in the system repository. And uh, let's install together. So DNF install. We DNF the package manager is proposing the transaction with all the available dependencies, 19 packages for a grand total of 17 megabyte to download and 80 megabyte required space on disk. Uh, once we accepted the proposed solution, uh, please notice there are a lot of uh, Python library and dependency. This is normal uh, solution for Ansible. It's going to take a while, it depends by the speed of your network connection, the performance of your uh, machine. So the time might be variable, more fast, more slow, it depends. And uh, in a blink of an eye, DNF is taking care of downloading, installing and verifying that the packages are perfect installed in our system. Now, okay, there was a timeout on a mirror, so it's going to check it out, another one. Wow, this is faster. Okay, so finally, 19 packages were downloaded on my machine and successfully installed. Here we go, we have an installation process and complete. Yay, done. So once it's done, we can verify everything is working with Ansible command and the easier option we have is Ansible dash dash version to verify the current version and Yay! Success! Also the Python version is 3.9 so the latest available. Okay, just to double check we can verify everything with DNF info Ansible dash core. This time is not available anymore is switched to installed packages. Yay! Great success! How to update? 
Just easy, DNF update as regular as the distribution. Yay! Easy peasy! Now you know how to install the latest version of Ansible in Alma Linux using the Upstream system repository. Thank you for watching, I hope this lesson was useful for you and see us on the next adventure of Ansible Pilot and have a great day! Yay! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun!